What is up nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. We're going to take a look at some updates to the actual Bluetooth modules themselves. Now, there are firmware updates for the speed controls, there are app updates, there are database updates, all in the app, and there are some additional updates to the actual connection devices. Inside of a tunalizer, there's a Bluetooth module. Inside of a multifunction LCD program box pro, there is also a Bluetooth module in addition to the OTA module. Um, this guy has an additional update in a database as well that it has its own database inside that holds all the settings for the speed controls and whatnot. So we're gonna walk through those real quickly so that everybody gets an idea of how that works. I have the LCD program box pro connected to a speed control for power. Uh, it's connected correctly on that end spot. Um, I'm I'm gonna, app's already open. You tap on the link icon up here and you see there it is, CS LCD Pro, that's me. Uh, my password, I leave my password default. It's listed there in case you didn't use it. And then that'll connect to the app. Once you're connected, you're gonna go to settings and inside of settings, you're gonna go to setting of the Bluetooth module. And here is where you can make an adjustment to the name. You can change your password if you wanted to. And you can see there's a firmware and a database update available. So to get into those, you just tap on them. It gives you the hard details on there. This one has already been updated, um, but if it isn't, you'll see a different listing here. And you can see if there's a previous version available right now, there's just the one. So you'll tap firmware update and it'll run through this process that tells you to make sure everything is connected. One thing to keep in mind is that during a firmware update, if anything gets interrupted, you can have some pretty big problems afterwards. So it is very good to keep your phone in airplane mode, uh, turn off your lock screen so you don't get any interruptions or anything like that. And basically this tip here is telling you, make sure nothing goes wrong, don't move the phone away, that sort of stuff, because disconnections during a firmware update can be very bad. You hit confirm and then it'll go through the process and it takes a couple minutes, it depends on the Bluetooth in your phone, it depends on the device, it depends on the conditions that you're in. If you're at the track where there's a lot of 2.4 going on that's pretty noisy, um, that can be problematic, you know, it just slows the process down. But it does analyze for a short time, and then it starts to kick in, and you'll see the countdown. Um, like I said, it does take a couple minutes. I don't think we're gonna wait through that whole process, but maybe fast forward now. Bam, there we go. The end says firmware upgrade successful. And then because it's a firmware update, everything disconnects. You just hit confirm, it'll back back out, and then you have to reconnect. Tap up there, tap on that. I should just save my password, but I, I don't like to save my password for whatever reason. Um, and then one more thing to check is the database update. So same thing, you go into settings, you go to settings of the Bluetooth module, and then you check for the database update by tapping on that guy. If there is a newer database, there'll be a larger or higher number listed. And the same thing, you'll hit firmware update. It gives you the same uh, update basically that you want to update it, don't lock the screen, all that same fun stuff. And this is the same type of deal. You're gonna leave this in airplane mode and make sure that you're not gonna get any interruptions during the process because that could be bad. And fast forward now. Ta -da. And there you have it, firmware upgrade successful. And nothing disconnects because that's just a database update so you still stay connected. Uh, we're gonna back all the way out. And then we're done with that process for updating the firmware of the Bluetooth module as well as the database for standalone operation. Now you may get that database update and you'll do the database update and it still doesn't work with your speed control. Not all of the speed controls are compatible even if it says to do the upweight. Some of the quick run stuff, the non-G2 series, the older generations, they're still not gonna be compatible with this guy in a standalone and it'll only give you the update on uh, error and unfortunately that's just kind of the way that it is. There's only so many update or errors that it has listed, so. Okay, so up next we are gonna take a look at updating the firmware of the Bluetooth module in the Tunalizer. There's no database up to here, it's just the Bluetooth module itself. So we tap on the link icon there, it's the HWBLE guy down here. We do the all eights, because I never change my default passwords. And once we get connected, you go into settings, then you go into settings of the Bluetooth module, and then you can check for a firmware update here. This one's already been updated, but just in case you want to see what it looks like, we're going to run the firmware update anyway. Again, just like before, when you do firmware updates, it's good to have the phone in airplane mode so you don't get any calls or interruptions. Make sure your lock screen is turned off. Hit confirm, and then it goes through the process. It's going to analyze the data for a little bit, and then it'll start the countdown, and then we will start fast forwarding right about now.
Bam, there you have it. Firmware upgrade successful. Please disconnect and restart because that is a firmware update and everything disconnects and the whole process starts over. But we can quickly, my button is really not happy right there. HWBLE, push all of those, confirm, and we're back in there connected. Another thing to keep in mind is make sure that your phone's operating system is up to date as well as the app itself when you're doing these types of updates. If you run into any connection problems when you're doing either a speed control connection for tuning or updates, a lot of times it's because the speed control or the phone itself isn't updated, the operating system can fall behind and those are important updates to have on your, your phone all the time. Another one that we run into every once in a while is when you're doing the installation of the app on your favorite phone and or tablet, you have to accept all the permissions or whatever requests it's asking for those are all part of the bluetooth protocol and locations I, i'm not entirely sure i'm not going to lie but i do know that if you say no to those it makes things not work so when you're doing the install just make sure you say yes to all the, the things it's asking it's nothing janky don't worry i promise if you didn't know we do a podcast it's called rc stuff powered by hobbywing we give away free stuff each and every episode all you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode just look up rc stuff powered by hobbywing on your favorite podcast service. If you do have any questions, comments, concerns, need some tech support, got something you want us to look into, send us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. New every Tuesday, it's the Charlie Show right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time.